It was all a dream. Yo, what's up, guys? Here is Happy Noah with another Guild Wars 2 PvP video. And on this video, I'm gonna show you the first Guild Wars 2 Path of Fire demo kind of PvP video. Uh, I started with the Dragon Hunter, as you can see it here. A female one, Skullbone XX. Uh, what's new? I'm just gonna show you a quick build that I just created. I'm not sure if it's the best or it's, if it will be the best, but I need to test it out a little bit longer. But for the people who want to see it, I'm just gonna make this video now and really quick, gonna upload it as fast as possible. Uh, I wanted to do it with a Sage Amulet, but I saw that <coughs> we need some quick uh, precision, so we need to use either this one or this one. But I'm not sure. Let's just go with this one. Uh, normally we w we need something with HP. So I was thinking of <laughs> no, yeah, we need to play Sage Amulet. But I'm not sure. Manders Sage. Yeah, we need to play it with this because we have no HP. Otherwise, it would make no sense. Or yeah, let's just, for the testing reasons, let's just go f with the Wanderer's Amulet. Because we will have a little bit more critical hit chance here. The burning duration is 100%, so normally we should not be needing this. Yes, we don't need it. We can go with bleeding, yeah, I just picked it up really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know, with this weapon I'm not gonna do bleeding, so... <laughs> Let's go with might. Just <coughs> the sigils are not so important right now because we will swap them anyways. The rune of the Balthazar is the best one because we can activate now mantras and the mantra is three times. So every time we can use it, every 10 seconds we will burn the enemies. And as you can see it here, the burning duration is 100% plus the bleeding 62%. And we will deal a lot of damage. Now to the build first before I show you the skills. Because I haven't tested them out yet on my own. I go for Radiance. Right hand strength. Radiant fire. Amplified breath. That's basically. Basically it should be like my normal burn guardian. Only that I don't use now master of consecra consecrations. Sorry if I said it wrong. Uh, otherwise I using the same and firebrand normally it was all with quickness some weird quickness stuff but I'm thinking of this one here this one here and lore master why you will see it now uh, yeah I have no target on my own damn it there are so many players here I don't know what to attack let's go for the chief time you time the auto attack will apply bleeding, bleeding and burning on third attack. It's a chain attack as you can see it here. Uh, let's just check it out here. We just auto attack this guy <laughs> if I can. And as you can see it here we don't really need to apply critical hits. But I just wanted to have the critical hits. The second attack is a symbol and the third attack is a stun. And we can also... What the f hell? I was about to die. <laughs> I was about to die. <laughs> I should have activated my mantra of healing a little bit faster. As you just saw, we don't need to crit because we will apply burning on auto attack. Plus, uh, what, I what is it here on the trade? Every third attack, number of attacks, every third attack will apply burning. And as you can see it here, 8 seconds. So we will stack tons of burning. And we don't need to use the sigil of smoldering because we have already 100% burning duration so it will affect nothing. It won't make burning last longer. Uh, yeah. Let's just change it for a second but I'm not sure if I will have it then with the sage amulet. Yeah. The burning will be less so we can just test it out maybe smoldering. Oh, he's attacking me. Okay, let's just attack him now. We will stun with uh, uh, Axe 3. 
x2 x3 stun and auto attack him we can burn now again we will use our healing skill well this guy is just interrupting me fuck you okay so let's go to the second skill symbol of vengeance it will it's a symbol and it will hit five times or better said it will do five times damage it will cripple bleed and have it has a 50% higher crit chance let's just go for a second for smoldering and the other weapon set we will we don't really need to test it out a little bit uh, sword skills we have no sword so maybe we can even remove this because we don't need to burn uh, to crit to apply burning <laughs> gain fury when you strike a foe yeah uh, we don't need this when using a healing skill yeah this could work because we will have something here <laughs> No, we don't use the retaliation skill. Yeah, damn it. I don't know. Oh, this guy will attack me. And I'm not dodging it. Wow. We stun him. We apply the symbol and we just auto attack. Use our healing skill. Use our healing skill again. Use our healing skill for the third time. And why is everyone just coming here to attack? I don't get it. Okay, we will hide here behind the corner so no one will see us. No one will steal us. Uh, the healing skill is a mantra, and mantras are known from Mesmer, so we will we we are able to activate them. No, we have to activate them, and then we can use them, as you can see it here. Wait a second, wait a second, mantra of solace. Okay, man, those people are not letting me do my stuff. We can activate it, as you can see it here, you have to activate it first, and then you have three uses of this. Hopefully he will run away yeah uh, this mantra what does it do is gain health grant Aegis to you and your allies in front of you okay cool we activate this skill wow I should have blocked that but this is a cool idea by the way we can now just use this to 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 to, to block single attacks which will be a really huge threat to single enemies nice 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 I haven't thought about this by the way so if people have no unblockable attacks, we can block single heavy hitting attacks, which is pretty nice. What's the last thing? Final charge. Gain significant health, grant Aegis to you and your allies before you. Okay. So we will heal 1.6k plus Aegis and our allies as well. Charge recovery, 9.5 seconds. I don't know. Let, let's just check it out. Will it recharge? It seems to be automatically recharging, which will be pretty epic. Yeah, yeah. Nice, awesome. So we can use it twice, block two attacks, wait a second, before we use the last charge, and then we can use the last charge again, as you can see here. Cool, cool. That's awesome. Let's go to the next skill. The next skill seems to be only something with burning. Yeah. Mantra of flame. We just activate it. Unleash a wave of purging fire in front of you. We can hit up to five targets and it will recharge after 15 seconds, which is, yeah, long time. <laughs> Final charge. We'll apply burning. Three stacks of burning plus immobilize. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Uh, mantra of po potence. Potence. I don't know. Uh, I changed this by the way because it was one something with healing but I wanted only to do something with damage inspire allies bef before you enhancing their speed and strength so this will give us and our allies quickness plus might that's it the next thing mantra of truth it will recount the truth to enemies in front of you inflicting them with conditions it will do damage Cripple weakness and blind. Wow. Plus the last thing is reveal the harsh truth of to enemies before you devast devastate devastating them with conditions. Vulnerability, mobilize weakness and blindness. Cool, cool, cool. So we can work a lot with blind plus Aegis. And I don't know if I would use the shield instead of 
se se uh, torch it will be even funnier i guess <laughs> Uh, the last thing is Mantra of Liberation. Portent of freedom. Hints of freedom echo around. St stabilizing and breaking stunts on you and your allies. Stability. For 5 seconds. Retaliation. Okay, nothing special. Only it will apply stability to our allies and stun break. Which is kind of cool. It has a 12 seconds recharge, which is nice. And how many times? We can use it three times. This is cool. Final charge, your whispers guard your allies, st stabilizing and breaking stunts of them while weakening enemies. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's just try it out before I use the virtues. For example, I will go against Svanir like this with the first attack, I guess, or with the symbol of ve vengeance. Normally, if you have the torch, you can just activate the torch. Axe 2, dodge the attack. We can just stun him. We can apply some burning and... Whoa! Already 16 stacks of burning. Uh, I haven't talked so much, but what I've done is... I started with Seelot's Flame. Symbolic Vengeance. And then I dodged the, his attack, even though I had stability. Uh, Aegis. Plus, I used then the third attack to interrupt him. Then I used Mantra of Flame and Mantra of Truth with auto attack to finish him off. Let's just show it to you here again. We go with four, two. We can activate Q and the other Mantra. Dodge the attack. Activate Mantra while we are attacking. Oh, I forgot to use quickness. Nice. This is kind of OP, I guess, <laughs> but I'm not so sure. <laughs> Let's just check it out if you use this elite, elite skill. Stability, stability and retaliation, quickness and might. Okay, I guess we can even go something with uh, with this other amulet, but I'm not sure what, which one it was. The one with the boons. This one here, concentration. Well, but it has no candy damage, which is sad. Would be cool to mix it up with all the boons. Basically, I guess this would be the build that you should play. You have good amount of HP and you can use your mantras so good. Let's just go again. Now, what you can do, by the way, is with the mantras, you can activate them all at once. I'm just going to try and show it to you here. Uh, this, 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 this. And now we just attack this guy. Two. We dodge the attack, we try to stun him, we use the elite skill, we use the healing skill, auto attack, and that's it. Basically, as you just saw, we can just activate all of them at once and destroy the enemy, or we get wrecked because he will block them all, I don't know. Uh, what you should do is try to use Mantra of Flame the first, the second, and the third quickness, I guess. You should save the quickness one here. But I don't know how to use them right. I just I'm just showing to you. You should use the quickness one for the last because the quickness will also increase the uh, what's the name of it activation time, the cooldown of your skills. As you can just see see it here, we go with this attack. Then we apply quickness. It will recharge faster. You can see it here. Where's this white thing? Yeah. It will recharge a little bit faster with quickness, which is awesome. We can activate quickness. I'm not seeing the line. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not sure if quickness does this, but it should normally do. What says quickness? Skills and actions are fast. Okay. I'm not sure if the cooldown will be <laughs> uh, reduced, but never mind. I thought it would be. But otherwise, you can also just go with quickness and then go ham with auto attack or something like that. And keep in mind that your skills are all also for your allies. So you can also go if you don't want this quickness thing with this one here. It will apply regeneration and remove condition. Two conditions. You should keep this because we have no condi cleans. Which I haven't mentioned yet. Activate. Two conditions gone. Two more conditions. The third one is uh, converting corrupting into an, uh, for you and your allies, aiding them to recovery. 
Oh, the last thing is uh, re do converting conditions into boons, which is pretty nice. So let's go to the virtues. I don't want to make the video so long. Uh, Tom of Justice, Tom of Resolve, and Tom of Courage. The first one is you activate this and you will gain access to these other attacks. You can see it here. Tom, which applies burning, burning and weakness. What does this do? Uh, this will stun the enemies. This one will apply bleeding and burning and this one here will do burning. Let's just check it out. If this guy will let me do something to this guy. No, I'm not gonna attack him. And we can also just remove it. That's nice. Let's just activate the second one. The second one should be something with healing. Oh, I haven't activated my healing skill. My elite skill, I wanted to say that. We can activate three, which is nothing. Wow, looks so bad. I'm not sure what I'm doing. And I don't know how many activations I have left yet. I'm not sure. I need just need to kill this guy. I need to go to the golems because I'm failing so much. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Same as I do. Okay, fuck this. Never mind. Uh, the first one, I wanted to show you the first one. Normally you have three pages or something like that but now I have eight so what does this mean is we can activate it eight, eight of these attacks should, should be like this yeah as you can see it here it has some weird chapters only the fifth is no chapter epilogue okay so the first one is only burning let's just check it out onto this guy burn 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 nothing else okay the second one is burning and weakness but it has this activation time almost one second so it's not so cool the third one is something in a radius wow it's a pull yeah but it does nothing else only a pull so you can pull the enemies and attack with two apply weakness and burning cool 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 nice virtue 2 what will do this do is it will only heal yeah it will heal our allies in front of us I guess create a wave of healing for your allies yeah not so much but it seems to be okay 900 uh, release magic ba -ba 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 -ba. detailing rebuilding of Abby cleansing conditions on nearby allies allies are healed for each condition removed this is nice it will remove two conditions. Oh, it's this jumping attack. I thought it will heal us. But it will also heal us if we have conditions. Nice. The third one is a AoE attack. Yeah. Cool. It will apply boons. The fourth one will apply swiftness and healing to our self and allies. Plus, it's a water field. So, combo finishers will be appreciated once the skill is used. And the fifth one is purify your allies with the waters of Amnon and increase the healing of their re they receive for 8 seconds they will have 33% healing effectiveness higher yeah so we can go like this uh, it was the last attack and then activate the 4 water field and then remove conditions and heal the allies which sh could be really nice Tom of Courage uh, the first one seems to be only stability an attack which seems not to deal damage but it will apply stability to our allies let's just check it out here we activate it to this guy he will get stability and swiftness the second thing is taunt who would deal damage it deals damage 1k plus it will taunt the enemies let's just check it out here for a second the enemies are taunted up to five I guess I don't know it says nothing uh, <coughs> valiant bulwark it's a bubble to uh, absorb incoming attacks, I guess. Uh, reflecting enemy missiles. Oh, it will reflect, so that's cool. You can just activate it and reflect, for example, yeah, almost an attack. I wanted to say uh, Rifle Thief, but the others will also have some attacks. Chapter 4 will apply resistance. What's this? Oh, cool, 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 cool. 
for how long? Interval one second. <laughs> Stun break plus up to two seconds. For how long? You, I could, I, I guess this was like three seconds of resistance. That's nice. The fifth skill, I don't know. Let's just go again to the F2 attack. Tom, activate this water, and then we can just remove conditions. Three. I already learned the combo of this one here. Increase the healing effectiveness. Do this. Do some healing combo finishers. Apply some boons. Remove conditions and repeat. That's pretty epically. <laughs> and I said it again. Epically, epically. What motherfucker don't die? Now I have no healing skill to heal this guy. <clears throat> F1 is only damage, pulling and burning and one more time. As your next strike burns, cool. We can activate this and allies around us. 600 radius will gain this. This what is the name of it? Ashes of the Justice, and we will apply burning if we auto attack them. Extra stack of burning, which is pretty nice. I guess, I'm not sure. Chapter 4 the symbol which will deal burning and damage, pull, two, and auto attack. Which, yeah, I guess this is a pretty cool one. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna finish the video here. I'm just quickly gonna explain you one more time what does this do and the build. I'm, I'm not, I haven't used the quickness one because I, I think the quickness one is not the strongest in my opinion. You can say what you want now. Uh, mantras. Before you start the fight as always just activate all three of them. Uh, once activated you can use them as many times as you want. Basically three times but you get it, you get the point what I mean. You can just activate them randomly or use them like this. So on the fight you should keep a little bit the distance because your attacks should be able to hit the enemies. Okay you need to be close range or medium range like this to attack. Uh, don't waste your mantras. Use them most mostly twice I will say and then just wait because they will recharge which is pretty nice and use your healing skill with 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 patience use it when you know you are gonna get a single heavy attack and you will get Aegis that's it so I haven't tested it out now in PvP but for now I like it even through I'm not sure how the survivability will be but the condition damage is a pain in my opinion uh, one more time, this is the sigils. I haven't changed that, sh changed them so much. Only this one and nothing else. Rune of Balthazar, because if you play Burning, you always this one here. Every 10 seconds, if you wait some seconds with your Burning, uh, with your healing skill, like this, it will recharge. Then you, 10 seconds are gone. Now you use it and you will burn the enemy again. So we will have extra burning. Plus here you have it healing power increased. So you will get more healing power. Activating this virtue will give you the boons. Or what does it do? Plus it will remove three conditions. Should it be? Because we are playing with virtues. Yeah it should be. Yeah. And so on and so on. That's basically it guys. That was my first demo video. I'm gonna record the other day the other classes and show you the rest of them as well hope you all enjoyed it and thanks for watching now you will see three of my other videos and you can also subscribe to my channel if you like this video if not don't do it and here we go i'm just gonna pop up my mantras and go nuts <laughs> that was happy no bye bye guys i see you on my next videos and i already killed someone without even watching <laughs> i'm a pro bye bye